Yo, what is going on? It's King of Jokers, and today I'm going to show you how to re region a save data using Save Wizard. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, let's say you're in the US and you want to play a save data that you found on the internet that is from Europe or something. Basically, I'm going to be converting a Europe save data into a US save data so that way I'll be able to play it on my console. Before I get started, I want to let you know that now all games can be re-regioned and I'm going to show you guys how you can tell if it can or cannot. Alright, so here's Borderlands 1, uh, literally just started, here's my inventory, got $80 to my name, and what I'm going to do is go to settings, application save data management, save data in system storage. Copy to USB storage device. And you want to find the game. Here it is. Uh, you can just copy both. And if you already have something, just override it. Alright, so now I'm going to go to my computer and show you how to re-region it. All right, so I plugged my USB into my computer and now I'm gonna show you how to re-region it. But before I do that, let me show you where I got the file from. Now this is a website called thetechgame.com. It links will be in the description below. And this is a website where you can download a bunch of files from um, for PS4, Xbox, and PC. Now what you gotta do is just go ahead and make an account. It is free. After that, just click downloads and search whatever you want. But for this video, this is what I went with. This is a another region uh, save data. And if you scroll down here, you'll see the description and they'll say everything that comes with it. So the class is a soldier, level 69, everything's maxed. And you have a modded combat rifle, one shot to all enemies. So right after you make your account, just go to the file you want, scroll down and hit download and it should pop up right here. All right, so now I'm in Save Wizard. Now the way you can tell if you can re-region it or not, if you click on one of these games, right click it, if you see advanced mode and you're able to click it, then that means you're able to re-region it. For example, Borderlands 3, if I right click any of these, as you can see, it's grayed out and I cannot click or anything at all. So yeah, that's pretty much means you can't re-region it. But back to the video. So here's the file that I downloaded off of that website. What you want to do is you want to hit resign and you want to hit import. Find the one that you downloaded. It's right here. And you want to just click on here. Click on the save file and hit import. Hit OK. Apply. Resign successful, hit OK. Now you want to go over to cheats. Now there's going to be two Borderlands files. One is your region, one is the other. You want to hit click the other one, right click on it, hit advanced mode. Now from here you want to go to the top right corner and click export to file. After that you can put it wherever. I'm just going to put it to my desktop and then you want to hit close. Now you want to click on your region, right click on the data, hit advanced mode. Same thing here, you want to go to the top right corner, but this time you want to put import file and you want to hit the one that you just exported and hit open. Now from here, you're going to see a bunch of these numbers. Now for me, this first number is five. What I'm going to do is hit five on my keyboard. Whatever number is right here is what you want to hit. Right after you've done that, just go ahead and hit apply. Hit yes. Modifications successfully applied. Hit OK. And now I'm going to switch and show you what to do on the PS4. I forgot to say you should delete the other region's data so when you go and upload it onto your PS4, you wouldn't get confused. Alright, so I'm back on my PlayStation and I plugged in my USB. So now I'm going to head over to settings. Scroll down to application save data management. Save data on USB storage device. Copy to system storage. 
click on Borderlands, and I'm only gonna do the first save. Apply to all, hit yes. And I'm gonna load the game. All right, so as you can see, I'm a level 69 support gunner. Look at my shield, look at my ammo, everything. Uh, if I press pause, you can see my stats, my money, again, my shield, everything, it works. It says this is a one shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and find an enemy. All right, so I found some. These guys are level 10, but I'm sure this still is a one shot. So there you have it. That's how you re-reason a save. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead, hit that like button and that subscribe button, and I'm out.